So what is an EEG? An EEG is called an electroencephalogram, and this is what it looks like. We have electrodes that are in a cap that get placed on your head, and the sensors are picking up electrical activity, which is the result of uh, the neurons in your brain speaking to each other with, with electricity. And then we're picking up multiple, multiple areas of electrical activity from many points on your scalp. So it used to be that EEGs were placed individually into your scalp, and there was this conductive gel that was placed into your hair. Um, and after you finished your EEG, your hair was a mess and you needed to go take a shower before you could do anything else. Um, now with the new technology, people are able to, to leave the office and go about their, their day without fear of looking weird. Now the EEGs that we're doing get put into a computer and data is uploaded to a um, artificial intelligence machine learning algorithm. We're working with a company called Firefly, and the EEGs that we're recording are at rest, and also when you're processing auditory information and when you're proce processing visual information. And the, the brain is literally being studied for how you're processing information. Your individual EEG is compared to a data set that Firefly has of over 40,000 other EEGs. And we can tell from all these points in your brain where you're slower faster or different than this standard 40,000 set of uh, EEGs that are being compared. And why this is important is when someone is depressed, the brain is processing in a different way than when you're not depressed. And what we can literally tell is by studying these EEGs before a TMS treatment, and then sometimes during and after treatment, how uh, the brain has changed, the electrical conduction, the processing speed has changed uh, as a result of the TMS treatment that someone has gone and the, the recovery from depression. One of the novel things that is also uh, available for patients who have, are concerned that they're not responding, we can actually take a, a reading, an EEG reading, uh, before the completion of treatment, and we can see whether the treatment is effective. There's changes that are happening uh, that we get now concrete evidence of. Your brain is changing, even though someone may not be feeling better at that point. It gives us hope that if we continue to treat, the patient's going to start to notice not only that the, the EEG reading is better, but that they're starting to feel better. 